Hi, everybody from home. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us here uh, with our virtual classes that we can bring to you at home since we can't be here together. So hopefully you can find a space in your house, either on the patio, if you want a real hot experience in the garage, so you can roll out your mat and then you can join us. So feel free, move with us, breathe with us. If you want to play some music in the background, feel free as well. So put in your earbuds and hopefully this gets you a little bit of release through what we're going through right now. And before you know it, we'll be back together. So here we go. Go ahead, get onto your mat. Everybody, let's find our way into child's pose. Let your knees come wide on your mat. Toes touch, hips to your heels. Forehead rest to the earth. And here we're just going to check in, letting ourselves ground. What we get most out of our practice is the quieting of our mind. Allowing us to tune out of our mind and into our body. So together, let's take three more breaths in child's pose before we shift, before we move. Full breath in to the back of your ribs. Full breath out. One more time, breathe it in. A gentle release. Let's all make our way up into tabletop. Lift up, hands underneath your shoulders. Position your knees under your hips. Inhale, lifting your chin and your tailbone. Find your cow. Exhale to cat. Hollow out your core, chin to your chest. And again, cow pose, breathe in. Feel this movement through your spine, checking into your hips, your shoulders, your back. Exhale to your back. Three more rounds. Exhale. Cow pose, fill up, fill through your lungs. Exhale, cat, cycle. Breathe in. Exhale to your cat. Neutral spine. Tuck your toes under behind you. Send your hips gently back towards your heels. Find your cat spine. So chin to chest, hollow out your core. Feel the stretch through your low back. Feel free to offer a shift side to side, opening up through your low back and your hips. Make sure your breath doesn't stall, stay focused. Come back to your tabletop and hang. Finding your first downward facing dog. Knees lift, hips lift. Feel your chest press to your thighs. Walk your dog out. So here, this is that welcome that other good morning, good afternoon, good evening to your body. Checking in on how it shows up, how it arrives. This is where you get a real good sense of your energy. How much everything going on from the neck up is affecting everything going on from the neck down. Step your feet hip with distance apart. Rise to the balls of your feet, inhale. Press your heels down as you exhale. Good, again, inhale, rise to the balls of your feet, lift and hold. Right heel presses down as you exhale. Get this deep stretch through your right calf and your right hamstring. Make sure that your head is hanging heavy, your jaw is loose. Inhale, right heel high. And now left heel presses down as you exhale. Appreciate the time for you to steady, for you to find stillness. 
Left heel lifts and hang. Both heels down, breathe it out. Good, step your feet not the distance apart. Unplug your hands, walk them back towards your feet. A soft bend through your knees, reach for opposite elbows. And again, if there's a lot going on in your mind, you might want to be still through your body. If you feel a little confined, a little isolated, you might want to get that rock side to side, getting some movement. It's been a little too much Netflix, sweat. Release your hands to the earth, breathe it out. Halfway lift, long spine. Fold in as you exhale, chest to your thighs, forehead between your shins. And again, halfway lift, long spine, hold here. Bring your left hand to the mat underneath your head, option to use a lock. Right arm lifts all the way up, look up past your fingertips. Feel free to circle out your wrist, move through your fingers. Work into your half bind here. Right hand behind your low back. It might press to the outside of your hip, or you might be able to walk your fingers to the inside of your thigh. Do what is ever appropriate for your body, your chest, your shoulders. Right arm lifts, breathe in. As you exhale, switch sides. Right hand comes down to replace the left. Left arm lifts. Good. Stay long through your spine. Circle out wrists or move through your fingers. And then we're half binding. Left hand behind your low back. Once again, just wrap the arm around your back or you might be able to walk your fingers to the inside of your thigh. Left arm lifts, breathe in. Both hands come down as you breathe out. Keep your feet wide, walk your hands out, downward facing dog. Good, feet stay nice and wide. High plank pose, shift your shoulders forward over your wrists, hug your belly button to your spine. Rock your weight front and back a couple times in your heels. Feeling your core start to activate, noticing how your body works together. Good. Now rock your weight forward in your heels, hold. Lower your body down all the way to your mat. One piece. Cobra pose, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale to lower down. Good, and again, cobra pose, hug your elbows in and back towards your hips. Exhale to lower down. One more time, cobra pose, inhale, lift. Hips to heels, child's pose, send it back. One round of breath. Ground as you exhale. Tabletop inhale, lift. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Lift your knees, send your hips high. Good, full breath in. Open your mouth to exhale. Rise to the balls of your feet. Soften your knees, look forward, take your time. Walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift as you inhale. Hands to your shins or fingertips to the mat. Forward fold as you exhale. Slow roll all the way up to stand. One vertebra at a time. Your shoulders roll back and down. Arms lift high to Dasana Mountain Pose. Hands to your heart, exhale. And again, using this time right here to center your practice. If your mind is still wandering, if it's still spinning, allow it to ground. Arms lift, breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. 
softening through your knees. Halfway lift, long spine. Forward fold as you exhale. Good. Again, inhale, arms lift all the way up to Dasana. Hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Arms lift, breathe in. Bow forward on your exhale. Halfway lift. Forward fold, breathe out. Toe heel your feet together. Let's step our left foot back, long lunge. Hug your belly in, lengthen through your spine. Rock your weight again, back to front in that back heel. Good. Find center, heel over the ball of your foot. Lower your back knee. Half split. Hips press back, lengthen through your front leg. Feel your chest fold forward over your thigh. You'll feel this rounding through your spine, creating an entire backside body stretch. You can hug your chin towards your chest to go a little deeper. Runner's lunge. Inhale, shift your hips forward. Lift your back knee. Right arm high. Revolve side angle. Hug your front knee in towards your ribs. Feel your chest opening towards the side or all the way open towards the ceiling. Top arm stretches forward. Bring your right bicep to your ear. Look up underneath your arm. Open a little bit further. Downward facing dog, right hand to the earth. Step your front foot back. High plank pose, inhale. Rock your weight forward in your heels. Lower half or all the way. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Pause at this first up dog. A deeper back bend here. Feel free to rock your hips side to side. Pressing our shoulders away from our ears. Take a breath in. Using your core, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Good, full breath in. Open your mouth, exhale out. Feet together behind you. Lift your right leg for three legs up. Hips are square to the earth. Feel your chest still pressing to your grounding thigh. Twist your dog as you exhale. Bending your top knee, hip rolls open. Good. Keep equal pressure through the palms of your hands in all 10 fingertips. Circle your right ankle around. Feel free to bring in some hip circles or move however you need. Three-legged dog, right leg extends. Bring your knee to your nose, shift your shoulders forward. Right leg high. Runner's lunge, right foot steps through between your hands, long spine. Forward fold as you exhale. Half lift. Forehead to shins fold in. Tadasana, inhale, arms lift all the way up. Fold forward as you breathe out. Half way lift, long spine. Fold forward, exhale. Right foot back, low lunge. Move into the other side. Rock your weight front and back in your heel. Back heel, find center over the ball of your foot. Lower your back knee down. Half split, hips press back. Once again, folding over your thigh. Maybe hugging your chin in towards your chest. Flexing through your front foot. Okay. 
runner's lunge. Inhale, hips send forward, back knee high. Left arm lifts, revolve your side ankle. Look up past your top fingertips. Top arm reaches forward, left bicep to your ear. Roll your chest a little further open if you can. Downward facing dog as we breathe out. High plank pose on your inhale. Rock your weight forward, chaturanga or all the way down. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Full inhale. And exhale. One. Feet step together behind you. Your left leg lifts high, three legged dog. Feel your ribs hug in. Close your eyes. Twist your dog, bend your top knee. Feel your hip roll open. Feel free to circle your ankle around. Get some movement in. Three-legged dog, inhale. Knee to your nose, core plank as you exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Runner's lunge, step your foot through. Forward fold, right foot moves left. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold to exhale. Arms lift, breathe into Dawson, the mountain pose. Hands to your heart center, exhale. Good. Take three breaths right here. Prepare for a little bit more dynamic movement to come in. Arms lift to Dawson, inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Halfway lift, long spine. High plank pose, walk your feet back. Rock your weight forward in your heels, lower half or all the way. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pull a big breath in. Exhale up. Rise to your toes, soften your knees, look forward, walk or hop feet to hands. Halfway lift as you breathe in, forehead to your shins, breathe out. Arms lift, fill up, fold forward as you exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, chaturanga walker flows. Inhale to your up dog, exhale to down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, walk or hop to hands. Half lift as you breathe in. Forehead to shins, breathe out. Arms lift and head. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift. Vinyasa, walk or float. Take that exhale all the way down. Inhale to fill up. Exhale to your down dog. Good, ground and head. Empty out, exhale. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, feet to hands. Inhale to half lift, fold forward, exhale. Arms lift, breathe in. One more time, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, vinyasa, walk or close. Stay with your breath. Big breath in. Big breath out. Rise to your toes. Bend your knees. Feet to hands. Half lift. Full fold. Arms lift. Inhale. Hands to your heart center. Exhale. Chair pose. Inhale to drop down. Lift your heart. Sink your hips a little further. Now feel your weight drop back into your heels. Lift your toes. Neutral through your pelvis, lower belly in and up. 
Feel your biceps pull slightly behind your ears. Your heart's going to slightly lift. Little back bend. Fold forward as you exhale. Halfway lift on spine. Vinyasa. Take it to low push up. Walk or float. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to your down dog. Good. Three breaths, guys. Feel your body, don't judge it. Feet together behind you. Right leg lifts, three legged dog. Twist your dog, bend your top knee, roll your hip open. Yogis, if you can safely flip your dog and you're ready to go there, look forward. Shift your shoulders forward over your wrists. Softly land your right foot to the earth, hips lift high. Lifting out of our grounding shoulder. Three-legged dog. Let's bring it back around. Right leg high. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Right leg high. Breathe it in. Right knee, right shoulder. Exhale. Right leg high. Breathe it in. Right knee, left elbow. Touch and tap. Hold. Three-legged dog. Send it high. Warrior one. Step through. Round your back heel, inhale to rise. Soften your shoulders from your ears. Our energy is moving, but allow our breath to be stable. Focus. Biceps behind ears, inhale, heart lifts. Goal post arms, 90 degree angle on your arms. Interlace your hands behind your back. Lift your chin and chest, slide your knuckles down your hamstring. Humble warrior, gentle fold forward. Right shoulder comes to the top of your right thigh as your head releases down. If you're ready to go further, you can slide your right shoulder into the inside of your right leg. Just make sure your knee doesn't stray too far from your ankle. Full breath in. Warrior two, breathe it out. Open up. Good, lunge deep, guys. Let your body wake up. through your spine. Forward fold as you exhale. See if you can go a little deeper. And then again, halfway lift long through your spine. Hold here. Right hand to the earth under your head. Left arm lifts. Good. Half bind. 
left hand behind your low back. And again, you might be able to bring your fingertips to the inside of your thigh, or you can wrap your left hand around the outside of your hip. Engage your core, stay right here. If you want a little bit more, make sure that your legs are active, your core is engaged. Your right hand reaches towards the back edge of your mat, palm face up. Good, you got it, yogis. One more breath. Right hand down. Left arm lifts all the way back up. Both hands to the earth. Walk your hands to the front, runner's lunge. Good. Side plank to the right. Your front foot steps back. Option to lower your left knee under your hip. Right on high. Either stack or stagger your feet. However you feel most balanced. Good. Keep breathing. Inhale. High plank pose. To chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale to your up dog. Child pose as you exhale. Now yogis at home and here, this is completely up to you. Feel free to rest into your child pose. If you want to lift into dolphin, we're going to come up onto our forearms. Palms press flat, all fingers spread wide. Tuck your toes under behind you. Lift your knees to lift your hips. Good. Now this is one of those times when I am here to guide you, to motivate, and to protect, but you are your own teacher. So this is your posture. If you're at home, I highly recommend just to stay right where you are. If you feel comfortable and 100% safe going a little bit further, you can walk your toes towards your elbows. You might be even starting to shift your eyes forward. You might want to lift one leg towards the ceiling and hold. Good. If your practice goes further, you know your body will be safe. If not, switch legs. Child pose. Slowly lowering down, we all meet back up. Three breaths. Acclimate. Notice what role your mind is playing in your practice so far. Our only focus and goal is to allow that to slow down even further by moving to our mind. Downward facing dog, inhale. Lift up, exhale, hips high. Good. Step your feet together behind you, left leg lifts. Twist your dog, bend your knee, roll your hip open, and again, you have the opportunity to flip your dog. Shifting shoulders over wrists, protect those joints, grounding your left heel. Hips lift, your head will drop back. And three-legged dog, left leg high. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Left knee to left shoulder, touch it. That's it, left leg high. Left knee to right elbow, touch and hold. Left leg high. Warrior one, step your foot in. Good, ground out your eyes. If your eyes are open, find one spot, find your drishti. If your eyes are closed, find that one point behind your eyebrows. Biceps behind your ears, inhale. Goal post arms as you exhale. Good. Feel your chest opening between your sternum, ribs, shoulders. Hands behind your back, interlace your ten fingers. 
Slide your knuckles down your hamstring, lift your heart, and then fold forward. Left shoulder to the top of your thigh, arms lift up and overhead. And again, you have the opportunity to slide your shoulder inside your leg if you want to go deeper. Nothing is ever required. This is your practice. Deep breath in. Warrior two as you breathe out. Good, lunge in. Reverse your warrior inhale. Side angle pose. Left forearm to thigh, to a block, or your left hand comes all the way down. Good, breathe in, yogis. Wide leg forward fold. All ten toes to the right, hips high, crown of your head to the air. Yes. Now here is a six breath opening for you. Diagonal lunge side to side. Find your headstand and invert. Walk your hands through your legs for a deeper hamstring stretch, whatever you need. Wide leg forward fold, and burger slowly bring it back down. Hands under your shoulders, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, fold deeper in. Halfway lift, inhale and hold. Left hand to the earth under your head, right arm high. Half bind, right hand behind your low back, hugging your belly in. Again, option to stay here. If you're feeling strong and you want to go further, engage your core, lift your kneecaps and your thighs. Left arm stretches to the back edge of your mat, palm face up. Good, one more breath. Left hand comes down, right arm high. Both hands to the earth. Walk it forward, runners lunge. Side plank to the left. Front foot steps back. Roll both heels to the right. Your left arm lifts. Yes. Keep lifting out of your grounding shoulder. That's it. One more inhale. Chaturanga as you exhale. Child's pose. Hips to the Release your forearms back by your shins. And again, roll your head side to side. It might feel good to roll your hips a little side to side. Downward facing dog. You want to open your arms. 
and that's in your practice. Go ahead, if side throw is in your practice, you can take it there. Chair pose, inhale, arms lift. Hands to your heart center, twist towards the left. Hook your elbow over your thigh, lengthen your spine. Now look as far past your top shoulder as you can. Option to open arms. If you took side throw on the other side, go there here. Again, listen to your body. Let it feel good. Let it strengthen. Let it open. Mm -hmm. Chair pose. Inhale. Arms lift. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Fold. Arms lift. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands into your heart center, seal up. Good, three breaths, ground down. Open your eyes. Find your drishti. Eyes lock in. Tree pose on the right. Ground through your left foot. Right foot finds the inside of your ankle, your calf. Skipping our knee, your foot can come to your thigh. Keep pressing foot to thigh, thigh to foot. Pressing palms together. Hug your belly in, stand tall. Arms lift. Palms face in. That's it. One more inhale. Breathe out, exhale. Chair pose. Right foot meets left. Drop your hips. Lift your heart in half. Figure four on the left. Left ankle over right thigh. Hands to your heart center. Again, eyes lock onto one point. Find your balance. Let your hips drop down. Now you can stay here. You can fold a little bit further forward, bringing your hands to the earth, getting a deeper stretch into your left hip. If this leads you to an arm balance, yogis, be safe, but go. If lying, right foot land. Hands to your heart center, chest lifts. Left knee hugs into your chest, stand tall. Left leg behind, airplane pose. Feel your trishy shift. So instead of looking forward, we're looking to the top edge of our mat. Shoulders roll back and down, belly hugging in. That's it, one more inhale. Hands to your heart center. Half moon. Right hand to the earth or a block if you have it. Left arm high. Rolling your left side body open. Feel your hips stack. Your shoulders stack. Activate your lifted leg. Keep it strong. One more inhale. Standing split. Squaring our hips to the mat. Look back to your lifted toes. Make sure your pinky toe points down. If it does, that means our hips are squared off. So from here, now lift your hamstring a little higher. Chest to thigh. Nose to knee. Forehead to your shoulder. Good. One more breath. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Left foot steps back. Inhale, lifting our chest. Hug your bottom ribs in. It'll help you to rise. Good. Full breath in. Hands to the earth. 
Right leg high, three-legged dog in A. Knee to your nose, exhale. Right leg high. Right knee to right shoulder, touch it, optional arm balance. Or right leg high. Right knee, left elbow, fall in triangle. Option to lower your right knee to the earth to find that modified side plank instead. Left hand down, right leg high, three-legged dog, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Warrior two, exhale. Straight leg reverse, warrior breathe in. Triangle pose, arms parallel to the earth. Find your core rib shift forward, hinge from your hip. In your triangle, find the same mechanics as we did in that triangle or in our side angle. So you feel your bottom hip tucking under as your top hip lifts open. Revolve your triangle. Left hand to the earth. Step your back foot in enough for your heel to ground. All ten toes to twelve o'clock, straight forward. Half lift in your spine. Left hand to a block or the earth, right arm high. Yes, breathe in. Right hand down, breathe out. Forward fold, step it in. Good, guys, half lift. Forward fold, exhale. Tadasana, arms to the top. Hands to your heart center. Yes. Three breaths. Ground. Tree pose on the left. Right foot to the earth. Left foot lifts, ankle, calf, or all the way up to your thigh. And again, we feel this pressing in, but now feel your left knee press back as your hips press forward. This counter pressure helping you to hug to your midline. Left foot releases, hips drop. Figure four on the right. Hands to your heart. Right angle over your left thigh. Hips drop down. That's the way. And again, stay right here if that's best for your practice. If you need more into your hips and you've got your balance, slowly start to hinge forward. Your fingertips might find blocks. They might find your mat. Who knows, your forehead might start to hug in towards your shin. If you have that arm balance, go ahead and play, get into it. No matter where you're going, stay with your breath. Your breath leads, your body will follow. Hands to our heart center. Chest lift. Right knee into your chest, stand tall, airplane pose, send it back. Lifting from your inner thigh, heart pulling forward. Good, we inhale. Hands to your heart, half move. Left hand to a block of the earth, right arm lift. If you wobble, if you fall, good, awesome. Figure out the ways that you don't balance so you can find out the ways that you do. If you fall, get back into it. Don't wait. Active top leg. Inhale, lift it higher. Standing split as you breathe out. 
Squaring our hips to the earth, you can glance back to your right toes, making sure your pinky toe points down. Chest to thigh, nose to knee, forehead to shin. Oh, two more breaths. Right foot back as you exhale. Crescent lunge. Inhale to lift chest and arms. Strong back leg. Good. Breathe in. Hands to the earth, breathe it out. Left leg high, three legged dog. Knee to your nose, exhale. Good, left leg high. Here we go, yogis, left knee, left shoulder, touch it, optional arm balance. Or left leg high. Left knee, right elbow, swivel your hips, fall in triangle. Right hand down. Three legged dog, send it back high. Warrior one, step it through. Inhale, rise. Warrior two, exhale. Straight leg reverse, warrior. Triangle pose. Really press through the pinky toe edge of your back foot. Strong back leg. And then ground through the front ball of your foot. Lengthen to inhale. Revolve your triangle. Shorten your stance. Hips square off to the earth. Left arm up. Now again here, feel free to use a block underneath your right hand. It's actually highly recommended if you're not accustomed to this posture. But press through the base of your front leg toe. Feel your left hip pull back. Collarbones pull forward. Yes, one more breath. Left hand down. Take it back to your high plank. Step it back. Rock your way forward in your heels. Lower all the way down. One cobra inhale. Lower down to rest as you exhale. You can stack your hands to place your head onto your hands, especially depending on the type of surface that's underneath your yoga mat. Chin to your mat. Reach your arms back. Palms face down by your hips. Now separate your feet mat with distance apart. Roll your shoulders back and down, setting up for locust breath. Lift your chin and chest off the earth. Now fire up your lower body, glutes, thighs, belly button to your spine. Start to lift your feet and thighs off the earth. You can use your palms or your fingertips to continue pressing down, assisting in lifting. If you feel strong, you can float your hands off the mat. Put two more breaths. Lift what you can. Last one. Full expression. Inhale. And lower all the way down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Lift it up to a tabletop pose. Nice and easy. We're going to walk our knees towards our wrists. Cross at your ankles. Come onto your hips. 
Extend your legs out in front of you. Move your hamstrings out of the way if you need to. You'll feel your sitting bones ground down underneath you. Hands press flat either side of your hips. Stack on the Flex your feet, toes pull back towards your shin. Take your seat and fold it forward. Reach for the pinky toe edges of your feet if you can. If you're not quite there, grab a hold of the outside of your calves or ankles. Just grab a hold of what you can. Now, rather than curling in and folding in like we have before, find your half lift. Collarbones pulled forward towards your toes. Lengthen through your spine. You're going to feel this dial right into your hamstrings. As you exhale, keep your long spine for as long as you can and fold deeper into your legs. So you feel your low back pressing down, heart pulling forward. on the right. Right foot finds the inside of your left thigh. Right arm lifts up towards the ceiling. Right hand to pinky toe edge of your left foot. Right ear to the outside of your left knee. Fold in. your breath doesn't fade away just because our posture is so slow. Inhale to sit tall. Right knee into your chest. Take a twist to the right. Either wrap your arm around your shin or you can hook your elbow over your thigh. Right hand to the earth behind your hip. Extend your right leg long, seated tree on the left. Sole of your left foot inside your right thigh. Left arm lifts high. Left hand, pinky toe edge of your right foot. Left ear outside, right knee. Fold in. Feeling our left hip stay connected. Towards your heels, palms press flat, setting up for a back bend. So we're going to go into bridge. If you prefer supported bridge, and you have a block, slide it underneath your hips. Ground down through your heels, tuck your pelvis, start to feel your spine above the earth. 
one vertebra at a time. Once you get here, you can roll your shoulders a little further back and down, feeling your heart lift towards your chin, hugging your inner thighs in. If your eyes are open, focus on your belly lifting up and down. If your eyes are closed, focus on the rhythm of the breath. One more inhale. Slowly descend, exhale. Windshield wipe your knees side to side. Knees front and center. Moving into our reclined half pigeon. So your right ankle comes across your left thigh. Just like that figure four pose as we were standing. You can stay here. You can press your right shoulder or your right knee away from your shoulder to get a gentle hip opening. If you want to go further, keeping your ankle crossed, hug your left knee in towards your chest, interlacing your fingers over your shin or under your hamstring. Relax the back of your neck to the earth. If your hips are really tight, placing a block underneath your head might be the perfect modification. If you struggle to wrap your hands over your shin or under your hamstring, using a strap or a hand towel can be a nice extender for you to get there. Bring it back down. Switch it out to the right. Right foot to the mat. Your left ankle over your thigh. Again, opportunity to press your knee away from your shoulder for a gentle opening. You can stay there. Or hug your right knee into your chest, going into our reclined half pigeon. Do your best to keep your left foot flexed. It's going to protect your knee. Block underneath your hips again. You can rest your arms to the earth overhead. If you want to take sleeping tiger, you can reach your arms up, relaxing through your wrists. No resistance, up to you. If you know a deeper variation like flower, shoulder span, feel free to go. But we've had an active rather practice. So again, your body is your guide.
knees to your chest, breath out. Soles of your feet to the mat, keep your hips bent. Walk your feet together, your knees fold open wide. Supta Baddha Konasana. Right hand to your belly, left hand to your chest. Elbows rest effortlessly to the earth either side of the earth. And let's focus on our breathing. 100% present in our body and our breath. Notice your belly lifts as you inhale. Find the sentence in your exhale. what's going on, it's going to be okay. Open your mouth, exhale. Again, full breath in. Open your mouth, empty out. Last one, full belly breath in. Sustain this breath at the top. Shavasana as you exhale. Everything releases, relax. Let your body shift wherever it needs to to be comfortable, to be still. You're ready for the start of your practice. Roll to your right side to your pose. Pressing your left hand into the earth, come all the way up.
So grateful for your practice, for what it brings to your life, the peace that it brings to your mind. No matter where you are, be grateful that you've got your practice here. Thank you for joining us, each and every one of you. Collectively, let's take one final breath in. Open your mouth to exhale. Hands to your forehead center. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.